What's going on today, YouTube? How's everybody doing? Uh, got a new video today. Today is a simple video. We're getting the Cummings looking clean. Uh, she's a dirty girl. Oh, bad light. There we go. She's a dirty girl, but she needs to get cleaned up. Uh, she needs a little love. Tomorrow is President's Day, so I want to have her looking good for the holiday. Um, along with that, I'm going to talk about some of the updates. Uh, things coming to the channel. Uh, mods coming to the truck. Um, I did order a new mod today. I got a little notification on my phone. I did order a new mod today for the Cummins. I will not be telling what it is yet. Um, if if you want to know, you can go on the Instagram and go ahead and hit up everything diesel or everything underscore diesel on Instagram, and you'll be able to know what's going on. But now I'm gonna go ahead and get the foam cannon set up, show you what I'm using, and then we're gonna go ahead and put you on time lapse so I can get the Cummins washed up. All right, take it easy. Also, you know, I figured I'd show you guys what the old girl's looking like looking like right now. Uh, you know, she got... It's hard to see. I don't know if it's hard to see on camera because she's white. But she she needs to get cleaned up. Uh, the rims are dirty. This whole body, I got stuff all over it. Uh, I got to take out... I got this... I went fishing the other day. Got a free tackle box we found. And my buddy's going to throw away that toolbox. But I'm going to keep it and pretty much repaint it and make it look good. But yeah, we got to get old girl looking good. I got this reverse camera. I've never used it before, so I'm taking it off because it's not wired up. But uh, but yeah, we're gonna get her looking good. You know, you gotta shine up that axle dump though. Gotta keep her clean. Oh man, look at that! Look at that! Oh, what's all that in there? So much work to do. All right, so. I'm going to show you guys what I'm working with today. So real quick, I got the foam bottle set up. I got some, now I got a little old soap in there, uh, Dawn dish soap, but that's not what I'm going to be using for this one. Uh, what I'm going to be using, this is, okay, so it says smart car wash, but this is chemical guys, okay? Uh, I'm going to use this. All I do is I just squirt a good bit, good amount in there, you know, nothing crazy. And just until I feel like it's good, and that's good. This bottle actually goes through pre the cannon freaking thing goes crazy, so I'm gonna screw that on. I bought this the other like at a Kmart going. I know right, a Kmart. It was a Kmart going out of business. Uh, it's it's a clay bar, except it's like it's not it's reusable. Um, it's like a weird surface here, but it it pulls just like a regular traditional clay bar. I have one up there too. I'm not gonna show you guys now. So I'm gonna use this because what the goal is is to get her get her waxed up. Um, she needs a, she needs a good coat of wax on her. So I'm gonna get her cleaned up. Uh, I got my bucket, basic stuff. You know, I love using uh, this my uh, mother's. I was about to say McGuire's. I love using mother's uh, tire shine. They're all good brands. Um, honestly, I know a lot of people. It's a it's a it's a fad and a trend to use like chemical guys Adam polishes and all that stuff but honestly like I'm cool with using using the stuff you can get at Walmart you know what I'm saying because and honestly I can get I guarantee you if I have the Walmart products like turtle wax and Meguiar's and Eagle one I I put money on it I can get any vehicle looking better than somebody who claims Adam's polishes and chemical guys and all those people make the best product so if y'all want to have a YouTube standoff, by all means, let me know, cause I'm all I'm all about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get y'all set up on the pod, and we're gonna get the time lapse rolling, time lapse <laughs> going, and then we'll go from there. Also, also shout out to this beautiful weather. Uh, today is really nice, which is not often here uh, lately. I don't know why, but I'm definitely gonna take advantage of it. So y'all sit tight. I'm gonna put y'all on the time lapse, get the camera set up, and we're gonna get this thing rolling. All right. Yeah, Spitter, Blue Rock, Fargo, Money Lee, Lego. We finna take over the dance floor with us, GMB. Yeah, Synesthetic. Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down when I come in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a bad bitch waiting on me with no underwear. Yeah. A black skirt, not a lick of panties under there. Gangsta from the start, my heart ain't got no love in there. Yo, know what's up? All right, I got old girl covered down with the foam gun. She's soaking now. 
dripping. Uh, for those of y'all curious, my phone gun is not no name brand phone gun. It's just a simple little cheap eBay $15 phone gun. Phone gun. Uh, it works good for me. Uh, that mix I made wasn't as foamy because uh, it was... I didn't put a lot of soap in it this time just because I didn't want to. Uh, I'm going to be real. I'm not huge into foamy guns just because I think it's a fad. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to put that layer between the mitt and the paint so it doesn't get scratched for lubricant. But, as, I mean, what's the purpose of rinsing down a of, of car with a water hose? It's to knock off all the loose dirt and then infuse a good quality soap. The soap usually has enough lubricants in it to where it won't scratch the paint. And on top of that, it's a white truck. Uh, so, you know. I'm really big into detailing and paint corrections and stuff, so, you know, if y'all got advice or tips or anything y'all want to know, hit me up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get the bucket filled up, and we're going to start washing this thing. Yeah. Spitter, Blue Rock, Fargo, Money Lee, Lego. We finna take over the dance floor with this GMB. Yeah. Synesthetic. Hold it down. Hold it down, hold it down when I come in town. Shut it down, shut it down. We don't play around, play around, play around. Your bitch is gone now. She gone now, she gone now. I'm about to call it up, call it up, call it up. I just pulled up, pulled up, on All right, YouTube. So, a lot of stuff happened uh, between washing the truck and now. I don't know if you noticed, but it went from bright to dark and back to normal. Uh, pretty much what happened was I had some friends come over. They were in the neighborhood. They came over. We sat down and talked and BS for like, I don't know, I don't know, like an hour and a half. And then they left, and the sun was pretty much going down. Um, at that point, I had not waxed the truck yet. So what I did was I went ahead and waxed the truck. It's waxed now. Um, yeah, I waxed it. It's clean. Uh, for those of you guys wanting to know what I used, I used this right here, the new finish. Uh, I got other stuff I could have used, like the Chemical Guys wax, or sorry, Smart Wax, which is pretty much from Chemical Guys. I could have used this one. Um, I didn't use that just because I didn't feel like it. I love this stuff here. This is my like 60% go-to. Uh, it's really good. Good stuff. Good stuff. But yes, uh, I went ahead and finished up the truck. I apologize for not being able to get you a nice video of the truck getting cleaned up and how it came out. And then on top of that, I had people calling me and stuff like that. Uh, one more thing, a little, little sneak peek. I'm going to show you guys before I uh, end this video out. I'm going to go ahead and show you all what the... Uh, I put something on the back of my truck. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all in three, two, one. That's right. I got it. All right. Now it's official. It's on the truck. Everything diesel. All right. So I got that on the truck now. I've always had that other sticker over there. That's a new one down there. My buddy gave me. But uh, yeah. Let's see how we can see if we can get a nice little shot of this. Let's zoom in on that thing. Check that shit out. Ooh, yes. Lord. Yeah. Everything diesel. Alright now. So this is how she came out with it. She's super slick. Uh yeah. Real quick, I also clay barred it. Let me show you guys something real quick. Okay, so I clay barred the truck, but I didn't use regular clay bar. Um, I used this. This is from Mother's. It's called the Mother's. It's called Mother's Speed Clay 2.1. Um, it's supposed to be just like a clay bar, except it's good for up to 20 v 20 times. Um, I've only used it once, so I still got 19 more times. Uh, it worked good. It worked just like it worked just like a a real clay bar, and I have a real clay bar right here. So it came out. I have a, real, a this is a good clay bar. I haven't used this yet. 
and it works really good. Um, you just keep it in the water, you get a bucket of water, keep it in there, and then just like any, it's just like clay bar, any other clay bar, except you, instead of using a bar of clay where you got to keep folding it, you can use that. And all I did was I used uh, I used this bad boy right here. I used Mother's Instant Detailer, and I mean you can see. I know it's nighttime, but you can see the reflection off the truck, man. I mean, god dang. Let's see if I can get y'all get y'all that, that that view. It's real hard on the white white paint, but it is what it is. So, yeah, I did that. Thought I'd turn on the rock lights for you guys one more time. Uh, got her glowing good, man. Oh my god, I love these rock lights. They're so nice. You can call it truck rice, you can call it whatever you want, but god damn it, they look good. Once I get the lift and I get my the right tires I want, man, it's gonna look real good. And this is like my, one of my favorite colors too. It's like teal, some type of aqua. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Out. Hey, do me a favor. If you enjoyed this video, I know it wasn't a whole lot going on going on in this, but if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Give me a shout out. Give me a thumbs up on this video. Like the video because the likes are gonna help the channel go up, not down. Uh, I'm still wearing a glove from when I was waxing. Uh, also, yeah, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Give me a shout out. Uh, comment in the video. Let me know what you guys use in your trucks, your cars, whatever it may be when you wax and detail it and stuff. Um, I like to hear different things people got. Uh, different opinions and stuff like that so if you guys got stuff like that hit me up let me know I'm definitely gonna respond to every comment also if you're not already following it follow the Instagram you're missing out because that's where the first come first serve information is gonna be at for the channel so if you think you're gonna find out something on YouTube before Instagram you're wrong so do yourself and me a favor follow the channel it's gonna be here everything deep uh, everything underscore diesel <laughs> And you will never miss out on content again. Thank you guys that's been watch, watching this channel, following the videos, liking the videos on Instagram, commenting, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's it, though. Uh, if you go to the Instagram, you will find out, though, what I did order for the trucks. So you'll know what the next video is going to be. Um, I'm going to be releasing here soon. It's going to be a top, thir top three things you can do to your 6-7 Cummins mods. For under hundred bucks, I think it'll be really good because there's not a whole lot of videos for Cummins, not five nines or six sevens, not five nines. I'm sorry. Uh, there's not a lot of things for the six seven that you can do for under hundred bucks that's gonna help it out tremendously. So I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And once again, thank you for watching. Until next time, peace, be safe, God bless.